Did you know successful people are some of the biggest failures you'll ever meet? Think about it, Elon Musk almost lost SpaceX and Tesla. Steve Jobs almost lost Apple, twice. And Richard Branson, the owner of Virgin Airlines, he screwed up for seven years straight before he finally owned an airline. Achieving a goal requires a lot of failure. And this is becoming common sense. In the new era of innovation all the time, all these biographies and other stories of people going through hell and back to be successful, finish their brand, do whatever they're doing. It's always a struggle. But for many of us, we're too busy. We work every day, we're in this zombie mindset, A to B, trying to create a bigger and better life for ourselves and our families, right? So what I wanna to do today is I wanna share with you my 5.5 hacks that I've used through most of my life, going from delivering newspapers in Oahu, Hawaii to Portland, Oregon, to being able to travel the world, not worrying about anything, and having what I want what I want. Embracing the grind. Embracing the grind is important, but don't forget what your purpose is. You'll see two different types of people in the world. The ones that work a couple hours a day to try to finish an overall project, and then you got those people, other people, that work until the project's done. In my life experience, taking your time is never really good advice. Where time is money and money is time, we don't have a lot of time to take our time. Now, I don't mean rush through everything and make a bunch of garbage and half-ass whatever you're trying to complete. I'm talking about we don't have time to sit around and watch random TV, to sit around and sleep for 15 hours a day, or sit around and just stare at the wall. Time is money, right? When I see a challenge, I overcome it. I see it as a challenge that I need to get done. So I find a solution, I create that solution, and I'm done, and I move on to the next thing. And this also brings up stress. For me, when I feel stress, this is a sign that I'm doing something right. This is a stepping stone to get closer to that successful moment or completing the task. For you guys that aren't convinced, because I know a lot of people think, well, when I'm stressed, I need to stop, I need to sleep, I need to drink water, stuff like that. Obviously, take care of health. But think about the one time in your life that you've known somebody, your father, your mother, yourself even. Where have they ever went from zero to successful and not had those moments of stress? It's part of the grind. You have to learn to embrace it and how to use it to your advantage. We feel stressed because we're out of our comfort zones. Nobody becomes successful rich, creates a huge idea by staying within their comfort zones. It doesn't happen that way. So for me, stress creates that motivation to go harder, to go faster, to get things done. And you have to think of this as like momentum. Think about when a rocket leaves Houston or wherever Elon Musk is shooting it off from, it gets up there, it goes up about eight miles. It doesn't stop, take a break, charge up its vessels, whatever it does, and then carry it back on until it gets to space. The moment it leaves that land, it pushes and pushes until it gets to space or it docks to the space station. It never stops until the mission is done. This is how we have to play the game. Work and get it done. Your momentum, your motivation will stack on itself as you get things done. So use that stress, use that fuel, that energy, and get done what needs to be done. And don't forget about your health. Don't overdo it. Obviously, if you're starting to crash, things are getting bad, you're physically, mentally starting to have issues, definitely sit down, take a break, and you'll never finish your goal if you can no longer function. So definitely make sure your health is on point. And remember, coffee is great. Coffee will give you limitless energy, but it is never a substitution for your body just naturally resting. So take sleep, take naps if you need to, but don't waste your time on mindless stuff. Get back to work after you wake up. Number two, find your Zed. What do you think of when you think of Zed? I think about focus, I think about inner peace, and I think about getting done what needs to be done. You need to learn to focus and how to remove distractions. Remove the noise around you, remove your phone, remove TikTok, anything that is separating you from actually achieving whatever you're trying to get done. These simple distractions create dopamine, but they don't give you results. And for me, I found, and I've learned over time, I'm not the strongest with this. This is why I lock my browser when I work now. I lock my phone and I turn it upside down so it's away from me, I can't access it while I'm getting my work done. And I sit down 30 to 45 minutes and I just get to work. So practice how you can control yourself. Get rid of these temptations. Get in your zen, get in your zone, and start practicing mindfulness. Even meditation is a great way to get your mind straight. 
but whatever it takes, get focused, get your mind on point. Because a calm mind is a clear mind, and a clear mind can conquer anything. Number three, stay focused. Stay focused on your goal. Why are you doing this? What do you get if you complete this goal? You have to make sure your result is something that you want. Watching TV doesn't bring a strong result. So break your goals down to smaller steps. Knowing what your final goal is, is important. If you don't, it creates failure. It creates distraction. It creates confusion, unawareness, what to do. And at the end of it all, you end up just giving up because you don't really know what you're trying to do. So think about, for example, I gotta record this video. So I broke it up. I wrote the script. I reviewed the script. I edited the script. I recorded the script. Now I'm editing the video, then I edit the audio, I edit the visuals, and I throw it on YouTube. Everything is a step. And as I do each of these steps, I feel better about it. It is motivating to keep going because each step is getting done. I'm halfway through, I can't stop now. And once I get to the end, it's complete. It's done much faster without all the distractions. And that motivation for finishing each step is what really got me there. And remember to make each step when you break up your plan an important part of your plan. Don't make one of your plans go pick up a pin. What are your steps in your program that you're doing have to have value, have to bring value to the overall goal. Writing my script is important. Reviewing and editing the script is important. Recording the script is important. Video editing the script is important. These are all important things that I have to do to reach the goal. So when I finish one of these, writing the script, I feel good, I'm motivated. That motivation moves me to the next step because that last step had value. And remember to remove all distractions and get everything you need. If you need water, get your water before you start working it. If you need to shut a window, dip the lights, turn on the lights, get a coffee, whatever it is, get everything you need for the next 30 to 40 minutes. Sit down and start working. You have no excuse to get up because everything you need is right next to you. Get the work. Number 3.5. Remove the chaos. This is kind of a bonus one, but it has a lot of value. Remove all the chaos in your day in your life. And when I say chaos, what do I mean remove? Chaos to me is too much stuff. When we start doing too many tasks, if I have to do 20, 30 things in a day, I'm not really putting my effort into a single group of tasks, meaning everything's pretty much being half-assed. This is chaos. Remove everything else, focus on the main goals, this is your synergy. This is where you need to be. Remove that chaos. This is so important. Multitasking is a myth. Nobody can truly do it. I thought I could grow it up most of my life because I could multitask. But when I look back at it, I never really got things truly done. So I was just doing stuff rather than doing stuff. Create a chaos in your life if you don't know what to do. Do a bunch of stuff until you find what you enjoy, what you love to do, what you're good at, whatever it is. Find out what it is by setting up a chaotic, environment of your life by doing a bunch of stuff. Once you figure out what to do, destroy that chaos and go back to peace and pick those few things and just focus on those day to day. Forget about the other stuff. You've already proven you don't like it or it has no value or it's just something you're not into. So why waste your time on it? Anything you half-ass will always give you half-ass results. Number four, building resistance. Know that stress is part of life and you just have to deal with it. And how you deal with it is what makes you different than a lot of other people. So the best way to go at this is to build strong awareness of stress. Have a strong mind, take care of yourself, eat healthy, do exercise, and always have positive thinking. You don't want to just survive through stress. You want to be able to take that stress like we've talked about before and use it as motivation and thrive with it. Because if you're stressing out, this means you're getting out of that comfort zone. Getting out of your comfort zone is what makes great men. And remember to definitely think positive. This reminds me of a quote from Andrew Tate. He said, if you understand how powerful your thoughts were, you would never have a negative thought again. Understand that life is gonna run into problems. You're going to make stupid decisions sometimes. And the best thing you can do is you can roll with the punches, deal with what you've done, what you've decided, and make the best out of it and create an opportunity from those issues. This is where the stress comes. And this is where you take that stress, use this momentum, and create something better. Because the worst thing you can do is sit around pissed off, walking in circles, replaying the same mistake that you've already made that you still could not change after hours of thinking about it. So don't let stress be the enemy, let it be the motivator. And number five hack, seek help. No one gets anything done alone. 
Not a single person on this planet has ever successfully created an empire or started a country or did anything by their self. They always needed a team, people around them, like-minded people, workers, employees, whatever it is. There's always more than just the one person. And it's okay to ask for help and lean on others when you're having a hard time. So surround yourself with positive, supportive people. And these people have to lift you up, motivate you, be where you want to be, and they want to be where you want to be. Because any negative thoughts you have, they're just gonna tear you down. They're gonna destroy you. Any types of negative thoughts from friends, from family, from coworkers, any of these types of people, address these problems head on or just remove them. It's not worth keeping those things in your life. It will just hurt you at the end. And there you have it, my 5.5 hacks of what I've done over my life and kind of my rules to the game on how I've been able to do delivery newspapers to traveling the world. So remember, stress, it isn't fear. It's a challenge to conquer. So embrace the grind, find your zen, stay focused, build resilience, and don't be afraid to ask for help or seek support. We're all in this together at the end of the day. And once you start pushing all those excuses aside and just start doing things, the motivation and the momentum will just start naturally building. And plus, it really feels good to get something done that you started, that you finished, is way better than watching a rerun of Friends. So write down your goals, your plans, your objectives right before you go to bed. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, you already know what to do. So do it. What's your excuse now? Till then guys, I will see you again.